the University of Waterloo, Canada's best engineering university. Today, I'll be telling you about the good, the bad, and the ugly in Waterloo's engineering programs. To start this off, let's just start talking about the social life at Waterloo. So if you're coming to Waterloo and you're a really social person, you might struggle a bit because the environment here, it's it's really filled with a lot of introverted and really shy people. Really, you're going to have to try finding like a friend group that's a lot more social or like a lot of people that just like really want to go out more because at Waterloo, a lot of the people here are very academically focused. Another thing with regard to social life is that if you're like a really quiet person, then you'll actually fit in a lot. And if you're really academic, academically focused, which I mean pretty much everyone in the program is, then you'll fit in like really really easily. But if you're also coming here for parties and maybe have a little too much fun, then Waterloo is not really the place for that. Waterloo doesn't really have any parties. Sometimes there's parties at one of our residences like Ronit Village or Rev or UWP, but even those parties, they're not really parties like the ones that happen at Western or Queens. They're more so just four guys. They go into a bedroom and then they, they all just start drinking or something and blast music really loudly until the dawn comes and kicks them out. So honestly, there's not really any parties that happen or not really too, anything too exciting in regards to the social aspect of it. But in regards to actual academics, I can talk about that because I'm in the computer engineering program, which is a very academically rigorous program. So in computer engineering, we have seven courses. We have programming, classical mechanics, linear algebra, calculus, communications for engineering, our engineering project course, and engineering profession course. We have four exams for those four midterms and four finals that we just finished. And it can get pretty rough at times. Like you can get pretty tough and academically demanding at times, especially from like the jump from if you just came from like a normal high school. If you did an AP or IB, then it probably won't be as big of a jump. But if you just went to a normal high school or you just went to like maybe just a slight like accelerated high school, it might be a significant jump from the course load from high school. But to keep on top of things and to keep on track of things, you should like use a calendar, use like Google calendar or use notion and just try to stay on top of things uh, another thing for academics is that when you come to waterloo and maybe you were like the top of your school maybe you were like the valedictorian the top of your class and everything like that when you come to waterloo you might just end up being like average or maybe below average even or even the bottom of your class a lot of people at waterloo experience this thing called the imposter syndrome where they feel like they don't belong at the place that they are they don't belong where if they're at Waterloo or whatever because like everyone else here is like really smart especially if you're in if you're in computer science or software engineering and y'all have it tough because everyone there is like extremely extremely smart I swear every person has like three startups that have made like a million dollars or something like that yeah I don't know what they're doing but they're doing some insane stuff in 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 these programs so yeah, uh, academically, it's very rigorous, but there's a lot of students that are very academically focused as well. And it's really easy to just go to the library and you just study with your friends there and you guys just like spend like five hours studying together. So it's really easy to find like study groups and people that are very academically focused, not so much social life, but a lot for the academics. Now, another topic is the, the gender ratio that that's something we could talk about. <laughs> Honestly, guys, there's no girls. I swear, like in a class of 135 guys, there's like maybe 15 girls. Or I swear, like you can literally count them on your fingers. It's like, I nah, there's there's like maybe 10, 15, like 15 being generous. But yeah, it's it's kind of rough. There's not too many girls. So uh, if uh, if you're looking for a relationship, then it's it's gonna be rough, especially if you're in computer engineering. There's always Laurier. Laurier is always an option. It just depends on what program you go to. I think software engineering is a 50-50 split, but computer engineering, there's just like no girls in there. So another part of Waterloo that makes it really unique from other universities is its culture. So Waterloo obviously has the big culture around its co-op, and that's pretty much like the biggest factor of affecting like how people, like what people talk about and everything like that. In general, people talk a lot about like what jobs they get in their co-op. One of the biggest things is Cali or Bus because everyone's trying to get into Fang. Everyone's trying to go into California and get some like nice like software jobs. Can get pretty toxic at times, you know? Like if you haven't found like a co-op job or something like that, as some people judge you based off of your co-op jobs. Not so much your academics, honestly. So then there's a lot of pressure around there. So if once you start looking for your co-op jobs and everything like that, there's a lot of pressure to I don't know, get some sort of decent job. So the last thing that I want to talk about is the food on campus as well as the residences that Wadu has. 
So the food on campus is, it's not too bad. We have a place called SLC, also known as a student living center or something like that. It has like a bunch of different fast food chains in there. So there's like Pizza Pizza, there's Subway, um, there's Pita and Grill, I think, or something like that. And then there's like a nice teriyaki place that sells like a lot of nice Asian food. And that's like the, probably like the best foods place on campus and then each residence has its own cafe as well so rev has one v1 has one cmh has one and i think cmh has like the biggest one where it has like booster juice and like some really nice stuff and then v1 has probably like the second best one it has a really nice like hot dish all the time and there's pizza as well and everything like that and then rev probably has like the worst one i live in rev so then like i know a lot of people that have gotten sick from the food especially like with the chicken wings and like the meat there for the residences themselves the buildings aren't actually too bad like rev I think gets too much hate. I mean, it's like not the best because the building itself doesn't look too nice, but some of the lounges for studying aren't too bad. But the, the rooms like for living, I mean, they're livable. All of them are livable, but if I had to rank them, obviously UWP would be at the top and then CMH and MKV is also really good. And then V1, CLV and Rev would be at the bottom, obviously. Overall, the campus itself isn't too bad. It does get gloomy at times, especially when there's not really anything to do. I mean, we had like a carnival once, but like the lineups were like really long and that's about it. Like the design does look like very like there's a lot of concrete everywhere and sometimes it does get gloomy. So yeah, I, I guess that's something to keep in mind. Like if you go to Queens or like maybe UFT, then I mean UFT, you're in downtown Toronto. You're literally in the heart of like Canada almost. Queens, you're in a really nice campus. Like the campus looks amazing there. So I mean, if that's something you want to consider, then yeah, maybe consider that because Waterloo's campus is not the best looking, but it's not the worst. But overall, it's 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 manageable but yeah that was my honest review of waterloo engineering and just waterloo in general just everything to do with waterloo i've only been here for my first term now i just finished my 1a term yeah there's that's pretty much it the gender ratio it's it's it, it's bad out here so you know if you're what if you're watching this video then you know maybe uh maybe help a brother out if you know what i mean nah i'm kidding guys all right uh, don't forget to subscribe um i'll make some more waterloo content in the future and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.